I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Scrappy and Erica Dixon attend Mama D's watch party after the Hawks game. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Thank you guys. You welcome. Y'all see that guys? Hey. Yeah. We out here at the house game going up. Gonna go to Mama D thing and go up and dig to face. What we doing? This way. This way? Yeah, this way. Where y'all at with? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. They should be tuning to um. That shit going on. I think that shit going on. Oh. Going off? No. The, the it's show. Hey, how you doing? Nah, I, gotta I, gotta do it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna watch every episode of the season. Please do. Watch every episode. <laughs> get them views. Get them views. <laughs> <laughs> the realest one. Oh, the realest one. Yeah, I've been watching you for a long time. Oh, God. Hold your breath. Mm. Mm. For real. I mean, real. I got much respect for you. But Thank as of you. right now, with the black guy, you love your daughter, your daughter, and how you stand down and consistent, how do you feel about it? The rekindling of you and Scrappy now and D and your daughter. How, how do you feel <coughs> right now? How do you feel? If y'all gave me a crystal ball like a couple years ago, I'd be like, hell no. Hell no, no, no. But God, like I never thought we would be in this space. And I think what a lot of people don't understand is Scrappy and I were friends. Uh, like, um, right out of high school. I make him after I graduated from high school. And like, this was my dog. Like, I was going with him to shows. Uh, remember, he was rapping during the free, he was, right, he was doing the free show. I remember you used to break his hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and his hair was on oh, their car. Yeah. 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 He was writing his raps and I was writing my poetry and that was like our connection. So the chemistry has always been there. I just, I really feel like, like I got my friends back, you know, minus all the BS. And a lot of people don't understand that. I think with our culture, we're so conditioned to think like partners, baby mamas, baby daddies, like if y'all cool, then y'all have to be sleeping together. And if y'all beef it, then okay, y'all, you know, y'all not sleeping together. When it should be just like that fine line, but like if we just be cool and be family. And then you be around each other and have a good time. Cause at the end of the day, like we have a daughter that's in college, we still communicate on a constant basis, like between me, Mama D, you know, Aunt Donna, him. Like, who, you know, did you send her some money? Did she? Did she that? Okay, um, is she? You know, making sure she's, you know, getting to her classes, going, you know, every day, getting there on time. Cause she's a freshman, so that co-parenting is still there. Like. It's weird to me how some people don't get it. They're like, oh, you guys aren't still co-parents. Yes, we have a child in college. And she literally wants to be an attorney. So we have law school after that. So we still want to be family, like, no matter what. Like, when Love Me and Pop is, you know, getting no. on, this is still my family. That's real. Yeah. That's real. That's real. That's real. That was deep. That was so, Jerry, I, I wanted to ask you. Okay. Why are you asking me questions? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you a question and I wanted to make a, a comment to Sarah. Okay. Uh, so my question to you is You call me Daryl. Oh, thank you, sweetie. It's so hard for me to describe <laughs> Um. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.